My house is a mess, like, messy. <laughs> I think it's because recently I've been sort of moving around a lot. We've only just moved into this house. I mean, moved in January, but went to the States, been all over the country as well. So it's been a bit crazy. And I just really want to get my together with it all because there is nothing better than being in a clean and tidy environment. Well, not for me anyway, a lot of my mental health coping strategies come from having a clean and nice and tidy and organised environment. So today I wanted to bring you with me just to come around my house, show you around a little bit and tidy. I also want to talk to you about a few things going on in my life like my work and also relationships. Ooh. The biggest question I get asked is am I dating? Have I dated? All of these different very personal questions which I am okay to discuss but only when I feel ready and I sort of want to touch on it today and I'll talk a bit more about it at the end of the video and throughout the video so please stick around for that if you like it give me a thumbs up and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button because it really helps let's get on with sorting my house because yeah let's do it so this this is definitely the room I spend probably the most amount of time because it's my office. Uh, I also have a yoga mat in here. Uh, on the very rare occasion, I actually work out. So I've got my desk and my workout stuff and all my camera stuff all up here. It is the top room of the house. Uh, and now I'm not complaining. I'm very lucky to live here, but to go from all the way downstairs to like one, two, three flights of stairs up here. I am not the fittest person in the world. It is cream crackering because I am so unfit. <laughs> so the amount of times I'll leave something right down at the bottom and then just have to accept that it's there now for the rest of the day or at least until I need to go and get a snack. Happens quite regularly. But yeah, so this, this is my office and I am going to sort out some bits and make it look a lot nicer than it does right now because it's stressing me out. <laughs> I love finding old um, like cards and things and this <laughs> is just très bien. I love it. For those of you who don't know, I am a artist, artiste, and I mainly work in like ink abstract. This, this was a, this is very much a work in progress that never progressed. So it's now all rolling. Oh, another one. And Dylan's. I've got these cards. So 100 ways to become a better plant parent. Tips for watering. <laughs> I definitely need to read these. <gasps> I've got this. I don't know if you can see it, hang on. I've got this little guy. <laughs> And basically, when I got my car, I think it was my first car, um, we collected these little TY things. And my mum's got one. I think my mum's got a giraffe. My dad's got a wolf. And I saved one for my brother, who decided not to learn to drive. So rude, selfish. But I actually got rid of my car when I moved to Brighton because there is no need for a car. Um, I kind of miss it, but I kept, obviously kept, my little draft. So I'm going to find somewhere to put him. Maybe I'll put him there. Not aesthetic in the slightest, but cute. Instead of actually doing anything with the wires, I'm just going to hide them. Because nobody else comes up here except me. 
and it is only me that it annoys, so. Now, for the long descent down. Ow. Now for the long descent down about four flights of stairs. So this is the bedroom, um, it's possibly one of the more neglected rooms in the house because again we kind of moved and then kind of moved into the house and then left. So basically the only thing I've got in here is, it's the cheese. But I want to sort it out properly because it's a really nice room. Um, so we'll see what we can do, see what we can do. So I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but do you ever just end up with a pile of clothes on the floor that like, are they clean? Are they dirty? I don't know. No idea. My wardrobe, it's, um, it's, it's chic, um, chic messy. <laughs> I need to sort all this out. You can come and film some bits if you want. You can come and film some bits if you want. Right. I'm in the bedroom. Do you think I should keep this? Yeah, I think it's nice. Do you know when you do something different? That's a bunch, munch. I love you. Hello, real. Today is a really good day. I know I'm gonna probably lose a bunch of subscribers for this, but that's all I need to say. The other day I thrifted, thrifted? What's the word? The other day I, the other day I went charity shopping in Chelsea because I heard it was a really good place to charity shop. And what is that noise? How long is that gonna go on for? So the other day I went into Chelsea and we went to some charity shops, me and my really good friend Beth, and I found this jacket. And I've wanted a jacket like this for ages. I'm gonna call it my power jacket and wear it whenever I'm feeling powerful. Um, it's from Zara, it's brand new. Brand new. And it was 25 pounds. So I thought, Pretty good, pretty good going. Pretty good going. So I don't know if anyone else has this thing too, but I really need a bedside table in my life. So when we first moved in here, didn't have a bedside table and it was so stressful. And I have like a lot of bedside necessities. You get me? Like I've got my water, my inhalers, my all sorts of other little trinkets that are very important to my sleeping <laughs> needs. <laughs> as it were. Um, so I got this one from, where did we get this one from? I think it was Dunelm. I will check. Um, got this one from Dunelm and it's so nice and it's really small and you are meant to attach it to the wall, which I didn't do because I'm lazy, but I think it looks really nice. So the bathroom offs. So like everybody, the sink gets gross. So I'm gonna clean that. I'm also gonna tackle the horror that is this because that is really bad. Um, what I like to do with a lot of my things that I don't use anymore or that I don't like for my skin and stuff especially, and food, things like that, I put on Olio. It's a really great site where you can just give stuff away instead of throwing it away or I don't know, donating it, it's a lot easier. Um, I will leave a link down below, but it's such a good site and I get rid of things that are in perfect condition um, all the time that you just can't sell or donate, so like skincare. Um, but it's a really good site if you wanna get rid of anything. Do you wanna see yourself? That's you. Aw, cute. Breaking the third wall. Actually, I've been doing that this whole time. Never mind. I clash perfectly with this. I'm not hugely big on colour because 
I mean, if you can't tell from my beige, beige, beige wardrobe, um, but the yellow cabinet. I mean, look at it. And we've also got a giraffe that we put toilet roll on. Perfect. This is my makeup bag. I don't know if you can see. I love it so much. It's so grubby, but I love it. I'm also going to sort this out too. Travel um, wash bag that I love very much. Very cute. My little cousin got it for me for Christmas. That's where my office is. That's the bedroom. Another flight is the living room. And downstairs is the kitchen. Oh! Yes. Yeah. I'm a strong, independent woman. Oh! The living room. Um, it's not that bad in here, actually. I think it's because this is where we spend most of our time. So, yeah, but it's just the odd thing, like, I need to just tweak a bit, so I'll do that. This, this is probably my favourite room, or bit of room, area, because look at the sofa. So we bought this from the Loaf Discontinued. Uh, no, not discontinued, like damaged range. So it's like half the price and there is slight damage to it. Um, but to be honest, you don't really notice. And in my opinion, sofas get damaged anyway because they're sofas. You literally use them every single day. But we've got this amazing sofa. Like I say, there's not really much we can do in here because I mean, it's gonna take a while to fill all these shelves. So I'm just gonna leave them. I'm just gonna leave them for now, but it's a living room. So, I said during this little sort out video, I would talk to you a bit about dating and relationships and where I am at. So this is a topic that I don't talk about very much because it is very, very personal and different people have different views on relationships after, um, I haven't scripted this, so I have no idea really what I'm going to say. Um, people have different views on moving on and I really don't like that term, but they do and sometimes people can be nasty about it and some most of the time people are really supportive but it's just a really difficult topic to bring online because this is my real life and it's just it's just a sensitive topic so I don't really talk about it all that regularly um some of you will be familiar with the feeling of losing a partner or a loved one some of you won't be um but when it happens you're in this really strange place and when it happened to me I was asked very quickly by a lot of people whether I would start seeing anyone again and that is odd because I think having any amount of following on social media and like mine isn't even very big um, people do feel like they have a right to information and I think that's fine as long as it's in a healthy way and as long as you set yourself barriers and I did that by essentially quitting YouTube and that probably wasn't the best way of going about it either because I found it a really cathartic way of getting my feelings out and expressing myself but I remember maybe a week or two after after my late husband passed away um people were asking me if I was dating since then it's been five years um I have dated I did possibly rush into a relationship too soon um and that wasn't right for anybody involved I was a mess quite frankly um and I think those of you who if you have lost a partner if you have lost somebody close to you you will know what it's like to crave affection or crave 
I don't know, a replacement for this massive hole that you've lost and that's not right and I would not recommend doing that. Um, but now I am happy to say that I am in a very healthy and loving relationship. We argue and we fight and we, you know, are very passionate and expressionate. Expressionate? Is that a word? Um, we're very creative people. So with creativity comes a lot of, like I say, a lot of passion and a lot of, um, you know, we talk about a lot of things that I think other couples don't. And we've been through a lot. Um, but ultimately, I'm very, very, very happy. And I would like to talk about it more if you guys would like to hear more, um, hear more a bit about sort of how it came to be and, you know, all sorts of the other juicy, juicy bits, not too juicy, weird. Um, and I'm just glad that I, I can share that with you and feel able to. Um, but I'm very happy and I'm in a place where I do feel very happy and settled. So thank you all for being supportive and yeah, I can't wait to sort of share more of this journey with you and be open and honest about where I'm at, who I'm with and, you know, all of these different things. So, so unfortunately, bad planning, but my battery is about to die, which basically always happens. So I'm going to end this one here, but let me know what you thought about this slightly more chatty kind of like it's not really a day in the life because I'm just organizing myself, but it kind of is because this is what I do. Um, and hopefully I can take you on another little, little sort out journey again at some point because I've really enjoyed it. And I've really enjoyed having someone with me while I sort out my life. And I will see you in the next one. Lovely to see you. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely life. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. End of credits. Farm. My camera's going to die again, isn't it? But I love you guys a lot and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for supporting me with coming out with my relationship. Coming out? I didn't come out. I'm in a relationship with man. <laughs> Not that matters. It doesn't matter. Um, but just saying coming out. What am I saying? Anyway, any credits fam, I will see you in the next one. Lots of love.